we're in Florida. We're going to Disney World. Now we've been to Disney World lots of times before, but always with our kids and then later our grandkids. So we're going to find out what it's like to go as adults with just the two of us. So come on along with us. You're invited. And let's find out if you're ever too old to go to Disney World. Nah. You know, Mike, before we used to go with the kids, it seems like we always got waylaid by the oranges and grapefruit and the tourist stuff. Yeah, like like this one up here that says 13-foot gator. Yeah, I wonder if anything has changed. Let's find out. So as soon as you pull into Florida, everywhere you go, every rest area, every gas station, seems to be um, offering all sorts of tourist attractions. Yeah, you can buy tickets, oranges, gators, taffy, chocolate gators, all kinds of things. And real gators. <laughs> At least that's what the sign says. A 13-foot real gator. Ooh. Ooh. Welcome to Florida, orange juice. Good. And the 13 foot gator? <laughs> it's a stuffed one. So I think I'm disappointed. I'm definitely disappointed that 13 foot gator <laughs> it's a stuff. was stuffed. <laughs> oh oh well. Well. <laughs> So I guess this is what they used to call tourist traps. Huh? Uh huh, this is a tourist trap. But. We're in Florida, right? We're in Florida, we're here. And we got free orange juice. We got free, free orange juice. Welcome to Florida. But an hour and a half later, we were at Walt Disney World and the Fort Wilderness Campground, our home in the Magic Kingdom. Now the campsites at Fort Wilderness, well, let's just say there are a lot of them. It is a big campground. Over 800 in fact. 800 plus sites, so there are a number of different loops. And this is what you may want to think about renting. A lot of people rent these, they cost about $60 a day, but uh, they make it very easy to get around. There is a bus system. But the bus system is usually crowded and you have to wait. In fact, they say that if you want to get from point A to point B, allow 90 minutes. 90 minutes, so you're on crowded buses. At least with a golf cart, you can uh, go around to the campground, you can get back to the transportation center, you don't have to wait for a bus to take you back to your campsite. You can go over to the Magic Kingdom, uh, there's a boat ride that takes you across there. So for the campground, this is perfect. This works out great. And the campgrounds, well, they are beautiful. There's lots of space in the campgrounds. Uh, they've got lots of vegetation around them. You feel somewhat private. And the bathrooms, uh, the bathrooms are immaculate. And with our Class B, we're getting a slightly lower price because we're on a tent. We're in the tent loop yeah, of the campground. So it's, a little bit cheaper. It's what, it's about $100 a day. Uh, actually, it's, I think it's about $75, $77. No, for this, for this, for, their, for this site. But it's right. $100 a day for full hookups. 110 a day for the, uh, for the full hookup. So if you don't need the full hookup, if you can get by, saves you a little bit of money. Now this does have hookups. This has electricity and water. The only thing it doesn't have is sewer hookups. So uh, you can get this for a little over 70. And if you want uh, full hookups with sewer, it's going to cost you 110. 110. But the campsites, hey, they're great. They're and beautiful. And everything, everything at Disney World, you know it, it costs more. And it's clean. It is nice. 
First thing we did is board the boat and head off to the Magic Kingdom. You're invited to join us, so come on along. What do you think? That's you. All right. Perfect. As soon as you hit Main Street, the fun begins. It seems there's always a parade going on. Disney is very big on audience participation. Then there are the rides. Great fun for adults, too. Between the rides and attractions, entertainment is everywhere. Hello. Lords and ladies, princes and princesses, it is time for the Royal Friendship Fair Grand Dance! Now join us in welcoming back our new friends from the land of the bewitching lions, Princess Tiana. Naveen and Sir Lewis. I love this place. start off being the two of you and if you're blessed you have kids and then they marry and then you're doubly blessed when you have grandkids but then you end up being the two of you again and that's all right too yep it's all good all good you and me babe mm -hmm. back at the ford wilderness campground we caught our breath and then we went out to take in the very popular hoop de doo review Disney World is made up of several theme parks. The next morning, it was the Animal Kingdom. Are you more 
welcome to take pictures while we're out here. Please do. Those animals are really cute. Just make sure you hold on to those cameras and phones and everything you like to keep. Which is home to many of the world's most. If you want to let out here, there are less than five dials. Yes, the dial oh. crocodiles down below. No, no, no. At sunset, we gathered for an evening light show. Spirits of the animals are free to dance together in the night sky, creating rivers of light. The next day, it was another park, Epcot. And then it was over to Hollywood Studios for still another spectacular show. This one Christmas themed with lasers, fireworks, and falling snowflakes. The campers back at Fort Wilderness had the Christmas spirit too, decorating their RVs for the holiday Mickey Mouse style. Over at the campground's campfire area, there's nightly marshmallow roasting and pretty much every night, a party. No trip to Disney is complete without a shopping experience, and this is Disney Springs.
the answer to the question, are you ever too old for Disney? Is, no, no. There were a lot of people our age, older even, who were here without kids or without grandkids, and uh, they were having the ball, weren't they? They sure were. Now, you know, a couple things we'll, we'll know. This is the first time we ever stayed at uh, Fort Wilderness, and it is a really nice campground. Like we said, it's a bit pricey, but everything at Disney is kind of pricey. Um, and there is a lot of walking involved, even with the golf cart and even with their excellent transit system. Uh, these theme parks are all really big. And uh, I did a, a check here on my uh, Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. How many miles do you think we did? Four, five? Well, we did that four or five a day. So we are up, uh, this is our fourth day. We're up to almost 16 miles. And we got another place we're going to go visit yet tonight. So, All right, let's so, get going. Um, you can get some exercise here as well. But it is a lot of fun. And one caution, of course, is you got to book far in advance. I thought you were going to say make sure you drink a lot of water and <laughs> well, wear comfortable shoes. Wear comfortable shoes. We want to come back. We would like to come back. Yep. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us to uh, Walt Disney World. Uh, would you do us a favor and please give us a thumbs up on this video and also don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.